Hi, I'm Jared Hatfield. And I'm Travis Cook. And this is Tablet Tips. And it's been a while. It has been a while. We missed last week. Your hair is gone. My hair is gone. Co-op. And he has this habit of this. Yes, I, that's my nervous tick, so please excuse that. We have a question. Indeed. Justin Alzer emailed us the question about basically comparing computers and which one will get better battery life. Now, Justin specifically asked about different cores. And if you don't know what a core is, it's kind of geeky. It involves the hardcore parts of the processor. Intel and the way they make the chip. And basically, newer computers, better. Older computers, not. Generally, yes. And that made us think, why don't we do an episode just on power in your computer and saving battery life? Indeed. So what's our, our first suggestion is basically spend money. What do you know? Spend <laughs> money, you get more battery life. We should really be sponsors. We should. Kidding. <laughs> you need and you really want, I promise, an extended life battery. This thing attached to the bottom of my computer right here, which makes it a heck of a lot heavier and a heck of a lot bigger, doubles my battery life, basically. This no. is the extended life battery. I don't have one. I cry myself to sleep at night because I want one. He also runs after those outlets. Yes, I'm an outlet runner. And, I don't and, have and uses his... Uh, power plug a little more than I do. Take it from a guy who doesn't have one. They're very nice. They're very nice. Probably the best additional investment you can make. You don't have to buy it right away. I will admit I didn't have mine the first semester of college. I bought mine the second semester after I chased outlets constantly. And they're not you know, that expensive in most cases. You're usually looking for 100 to 200 dollars. But if you don't have one, or even if you do and you want to save some power, we have a few extra tips. So there's a few general things that anyone can do that will help you a great deal on your battery life. In Vista, you have your little power management thing. That's the thing in the taskbar. It looks like a battery when you click on it. Way down here. And it will be up on your screen in front of the screen. You should be able to see it right now. You have three choices. Balanced, power saver, and high performance. Now, disclaimer, there could be random things such as HP Super Duper Power Saver Mode 1000. Or the Lenovo Ultra Battery Stretch Technology 1 million. But they are very self-descriptive. It's no different than anything else. Just Lenovo or HP won't put their name on it. Now, these settings are for the different times where you're using your computer. If you're plugged into the wall, what the heck, put it on high performance. Sure. Or if you're plugged into the wall, put it on balance. If you're plugged into the wall and you're plugged on power, power saver, you're going to feel like you're using a pretty slow computer. Indeed. But when you're not plugged in, switch it to power saver. What power saver generally does is it turns out things you're not using. It's just an Ethernet port. There's nothing plugged into it right now, so why should I be giving it power? And, in my case, it turns off my optical. I can't eject it. It's turned off. Now, Travis wouldn't know anything about optical drives, but it is included in the power saver modes. Also, another thing power saver mode changes is your brightness, which you can also manually adjust yourself. You can change these settings yourself. There's typically a little slider inside of Vista that you can, in those teachers' lights off, turn down, basically have as low as you can without causing eye strain. Yeah, but don't, don't hurt your eyes for it. Not worth it. I, I keep mine all the way down. Yeah, he's crazy. <laughs> but you, if you need that extra battery off, turn your brightness all the way down. Use it the best you can. Some tablets, such as mine, even come with a feature that automatically adjusts the brightness for maximum readability. Now he's just showing off. I am just showing off. Okay, the other thing that you can turn on and off that will affect your battery life is your wireless. If you're not in the class of using Dyno, which if you don't know what Dyno is, you'll know soon, turn it off. It will reduce your temptation to check your email, I guess. Or play flash games. And it'll also save your battery life a decent amount. It's no huge hour-long change. You, but you might not see a noticeable difference, but in the long term, it is making a little bit of a difference. On my tablet, I say 15 minutes. That's what I've noticed. I don't, I don't know. Mine's almost always on. Eh, turn it off if you can, yeah, basically. You can. Now, these are just basic tips that will really help you in 10 minutes, 5 minutes, 15 minutes, start adding up. Right. Now, this last tip is one of those things that you're probably not going to see a difference, but it does make a difference. Close those applications. Yeah. I need to take my own advice and close applications. I always have a ton open. This task bar looks like a fruit salad. It's... it's Crazy. I actually doubled up my start menu to make it smaller. But when you close your applications, you're using less processor power and less memory. And that helps. 
Basically, your computer's not sitting there thinking about things and you're using less power because of it. Yeah, it's not going to be a huge nose difference first, but trust us, it doesn't. If you're playing like one of those flash games that's really intense, that's like making your computer slow down. And we're going to assume it's an educational game. Right, those things with the diagrams of the yeah. cell moving around. Sure. It's a little bit of blood in most cases. <laughs> no, it'll drain your battery pretty quickly. Right. You, in the best case scenario, you can plug in in class. There's a few. They're starting to get up there with decent lecture halls where you can plug in, which obviously if you can plug in, just put it on high performance and you don't have to worry if your battery's charging for the next mm -hmm. class. But you have those occasional classrooms. I was in one last semester, one plug in the entire room. An important thing to learn is your one power plug. management. You'll learn that you could go all day without having to plug in, or you'll learn you can plug in between classes and set yourself up. You'll learn your schedule. Just keep Look at mind. your schedule. If you go, I can't plug in in this class, so I need to charge in the class before it. And you just kind of have to think about those things. And if you're in three classes that have no power outlets, look into it the black battery. Or a portable generator. Or a portable generator. Right? <laughs> That'll work, I guess. Big solar panel. Sit by the window. If you have any questions about this, please email us. Our email address is stug at speedstug.com. We'll be happy to answer any questions, talk about this further, and if you have a question you'd like to see on tablet tips, please send it to us. And our website is speedstug.com. Come see us. As always, thanks for watching. See you next time.